We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. Odi viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, winding down the Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. It's an extensive game with a lot of side missions, and even the main missions are extremely long. And so I tried to stay away from making videos on the main missions, do something interesting after a while. But, you know, some of the main missions were kind of fun. Now, this is the point where Arthur Morgan has helped Sadie Adler rescue uh, Abigail Marston, and now he's going back to confront the gang and inform Dutch that Micah is a traitor. It's a dramatic playthrough. You end up making some decisions. Finally, you get to a high point where... Arthur knows he's dying. He and John have a choice. Well, Arthur has a choice. He will send John on his way, and he will either die at the top of the mountain or die in the, uh, whatchamacallit, gang's final hideout. And how he dies depends on his honor. And you make either choice either way. It then, at the end, when Arthur dies, you will play John Marston, the protagonist of Red Dead Redemption. And this is where we move, and I will do the cutscene to what is called the Wheel, which is the first epilogue mission. And that is the one you have to go through in order to continue on with Red Dead Redemption. Now, the wheel is just a basic mission where you get Abigail and your son to uh, Strawberry. You pick up a job, you deliver some stuff. And you end up becoming a ranch hand at the Pronghorn Ranch. Now, in order to leave the Pronghorn Ranch and adventure with all your weapons, you have to get to a certain point and a certain mission, which I'll cover in another video, but it's called Motherhood. And Abigail leaves John and... Because she's upset. He ends up gunfighting. And so John wanting to prove that he is a changed man. Well, he's now free, essentially. And he gets everything Arthur Morgan had ever collected up to that, up to his death. He John inherits all of it. And so if you get a ton of weapons and bullets trinkets, etc., John will get that, but he won't get the money. He loses all the money. So before you move into the epilogues, you want to buy up all the weapons you can. Buy up anything you can, because in the end, it will benefit John in the future. So I'm not going to continue to play through the wheel. Uh, this is just kind of a different video talking a little bit over basically my feelings about Red Dead Redemption. It didn't start out strong with me. I stopped playing for a little while and ultimately came back and it really is deep. Now like I said, you have to play through a certain mission which I'll do another video about in order to get everything that Arthur left for John except for the money, but then you can go out and explore the farther west part of the Red Dead Redemption 2 map and hunt some legendary animals and do some things. 
It's in total another seven hours of play, but hey, again, this is a pretty expansive game. If you like this video, hit the like button, uh, thumbs up icon. If you found it interesting, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I leave four videos a week on video games plus some special videos. And you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.